Here we are outside the wigwam. Um, I've had uh, two days of rain. Everything's soaking wet. I'm soaking wet. But I'm finally out of Cornwall. Cornwall seems to have done me no good at all. Some lovely people, but I just seem to have had bad luck all the way through. Anyway, Ellen, you lucky uh, duck, I found it, and that's gone the journey. And it's not gone the journey, going the journey with me to uh, John O'Groat, so I've left it back in Cornwall. Hopefully I'm going to have uh, a little bit better luck. Uh, not entirely over all my um, uh, mechanical problems, but we're struggling through, and regardless, we are going to push on and crack on. Uh, another day tomorrow forecast is rain but at least I have had a chance to sort of dry most things out um, let's hope that uh, Devon is going to be uh, just a little bit uh, kinder to me than uh, Cornwall and uh, hopefully we can get a move on and uh, be through Devon and into uh, Somerset, I think it is next, and uh, we'll crack on for there. I must, uh, uh, in another video, I must mention all the people I've, uh, some of the people I've met in Cornwall that, in the end, um, really did give me a massive amount of help uh, regarding. Um, the repairs to the um, uh, wheelchair, uh, the jockey wheel that was so much hassle uh, has been repaired and all the uh, parts have been uh, machined and uh, cast and machined and it's absolutely fantastic piece of work and I'll show you that later on as well. The bloke who did it um, uh, Dylan Simpson, I believe his name was, um, he's a machines bits for uh, racing cars. Anyway, I'll talk more in detail about that later and about the fantastic job he's done for me on the, uh, on the jockey wheel. Uh, and I uh, will also talk about uh, the campsite that I was actually ended up and uh, three days, four days, I think, uh, while I waited for the parts to carry on. Um, and then after we got it all back together, we got a really good drenching, really. Um, but never mind, we will carry on and uh, push on again tomorrow. Get we into Somerset. Um, hopefully... It has forecast rain, but hopefully it will stay off and hopefully I can get you some videos, some pictures, something nice going on. Okay. Yeah, just to give you a little look at all these, uh, what seems to be the uh, thing uh, in Cornwall and Devon, is uh, these pop-up uh, campsites. Uh, since, the, since the pandemic, um, this seems to be... A lot of them, they're not marked on any uh, audience survey maps, but you can see they're quite temporary. That's the shower block and toilets. Um, but they are really good. It's proper old-fashioned camping, just like I used to remember as a kid. A field, some basic stuff, and that's all you need. You know, for any cyclists or uh, walkers, that's all we need. It's just, uh, yeah, a nice, flat, straightforward area. Okay. Yeah, here's the old uh, teepee. Uh, I bought this one uh, at... Uh, oh, Victoria Park, Queens... Oh, damn terrible with names. Uh, Mountain Warehouse this came from. Nice little budget tent. Um, I have got one of these uh, back home. Um, it's uh, 
classed as a tool man, but to be honest, you'd either have to be very friendly or it's best classed as a one man tent and giving you plenty of room inside for uh, your kit. Um, one thing to be careful of in this tent is to make sure, I'll show you later, that the inner fly sheets, not the inner fly sheets, the inner bug sheet, should we say, the ventilation has got to be all opened up at night time, otherwise it does get suffer badly in certain conditions with condensation in the fly sheet. Uh, so the more ventilation, as you see, the uh, fly sheet goes right the way to the ground which is brilliant if you're in cold and windy conditions but as for uh, condensation um, moisture in there from your breath uh, it does get damp so just one thing to consider and we'll have a look at it a bit in a bit more detail later so there's the old uh, teepee wigwam there's my little wigwam right in the middle of the uh, camping field. You can see it's absolutely gorgeous around here. And I'm the only person around. Absolutely marvellous.